Hey, it's me, Chi, and today I'll be doing a Bath and Body Works haul. Well, I also have some Victoria's Secret in here too, um, just a little bit. So yeah, I'm really excited. I've been watching Jasmine Bullard, um, Self Care Catherine, Natalie Grace, Tina Marie, Living Ash, Shay's Time, all the wonderful, you know, some of my favorite Bath and Body Works gals, you know. And I was just thinking like, a semi-annual sale was really fun. I had a lot of fun, if you can't tell. I splurged quite a bit. And I was like, I, I want to show people too. Because it's like, I've been a Bath & Body Works fanatic since I was like 11. And I just finally need to make a channel, right? So here we are. And I'll be sharing my haul. Um, It's a little excessive, but honestly, I haven't splurged on Bath & Body Works in like a couple years. I've been kind of out of the loop. So this was like me like getting back in the loop, you know? So yeah, I'm so excited. Also, don't mind my hair. It does need to be retwisted. These are my teenage looks. Let me know if you want a video on that. I can do like a nine month update, which is coming around in the next week. So yeah, anyway, I'll start with Victoria's Secret because I only got like a few things. Um, first thing, I only got one spray. Honestly, I was not that impressed by the sale at Victoria's Secret. I think the body spray is like $5.99, which is like cute. It's only for a select few. Honestly, I like the $7.95 sale they had before all of this, like before Christmas, on all of their body sprays, including pink. And I got like a few then. Um, let me know if you want a haul on that too, but I'm not going to put it in this video or else this video is going to be like massive. Oh, you can see my reflection. Hopefully that's not distracting. Anyway, so the first thing I got was um, Citrus Chill, if you can see that. Um, sorry for the reflection. This one, okay, I was gonna get this online um, when I made an online purchase before Christmas. And, but the reviews weren't that good, even though the notes seem really interesting. It's Sparkling Tangelo, Almond Blooms, and Frozen Sunshine. I don't know what Frozen Sunshine is, but this, I really like citrus scent, so I feel like if you like citrus, you'll like this. It smells like a citrus, like a juicy citrus, but that like almond really like makes it unique. I've never smelled a citrus like this. And on your skin, it's kind of powdery a little bit and fresh and it's just really good. I might have to go get another one of this. And the last thing I got was just, I'm struggling. Okay, the last thing I got was just like four lip glosses. And honestly, these weren't that great of a deal. I, They were cheaper at Bath & Body Works, but um, I don't know. I just got these because I really like Victoria's Secret um, lip glosses. So there's Almond Glaze, and I got two of those. These were um, $3.99, and they're originally like $10. So I guess it's, it's kind of a good deal, but like not really. And then I got apple tart, and then I got a uh, pumpkin brulee. So yeah, I'm excited to use those. I'll probably give one to my mom because she really likes um, their lip glosses too. And I'll just put it back there. Um. Anyway, so next, where do I even start? Let's get to the Bath and Body Works. Um, I'll start with the two I got um, prior to Christmas. So the first one is Sunset Glow. And oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. This one's going to become one of my new favorites. First of all, packaging. Second of all, when I read the notes online, which are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry, seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla, I was so confused because I was like, okay, fresh coconut, bomb, caramelized 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 vanilla bomb and i was like cherry oh i don't know about her i usually don't go for cherry scents but this is just blended so nicely it smells like on me it honestly smells like a mix of like cherry cola with like coconut mixed in but and then a little bit of like creaminess in the vanilla, but then a little bit fresh from like the, probably like the moonflower. It's really interesting and honestly really unique. I haven't smelled anything like this. So 
this is bomb next oh yeah another one I got before Christmas Christmas cookies because literally everybody was raving about this one and I felt like I was missing out so I had to go get it and boy I was not disappointed this has creamy cookie dough almond biscotti and car caramel caramel I know people in the south I feel like mostly people in the south say caramel but I hate that and did you hear that just come out like instinctively Ugh. Caramel. Caramel wood. <laughs> Caramel woods. <laughs> this smells like literally like sugar cookies with icing on top mixed with almond. And it's so good. Like this does not disappoint. Okay, and so those are what I got before semi-annual. And now let's get into my huge semi-annual. Let me hurry up because we're already at five minutes. I haven't even started. Okay. Um... So, when I went the first day, they had, like, this whole line. Um, I'll just show you the... They had this whole line, right? And I saw it, and I was like, first of all, packaging looks, like, watery and stuff. And I was like, that's not my type of scent. I'm not even going to bother to smell them. But, like, because the 75% selection in my store wasn't that great, and these were, like, the main things in the 75 percent area i was like fine i'll just smell it and so this one's papaya paradise cove oh my gosh i was so pleasantly surprised when i smelled this it's so fresh but like sweet fruity at the same time it's so good i this is like a perfect out the out the shower summer type spring type scent it has fresh papaya star fruit water honeysuckle passion flower and amber it's so good don't be scared by the amber if you don't like amber or like the florals it really just smells like super fresh fruity and like kind of light but it's really good and i ended up having to go back and get another one because it's just amazing the next one i smelled was like underwater oasis because i was like okay the first one's good let me smell this one and um i didn't have high hopes for this one because look at the name but this one smells really good too it has sparkling bergamot jasmine bamboo marine notes and blue musk yeah this one i feel like it could be unisex like it did you definitely could pull this off if you're a guy like it just smells super clean and fresh with a little a little citrus and you get that like a little bit of like watery floral notes but it's so good because i don't usually like watery but this one's really good so i really suggest trying this if it's still at your store hopefully it is i know um all the locations are really selling out on everything but this one's really good especially if you want to smell just fresh then the last one is pink coconut calypso um honestly i love coconut scents like love them when I first smelled this in the store, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But this is a pattern. Like, honestly, don't trust what, how you smell things in the store because there's just too many things around you. Like, it just gets mixed in. Always come home and smell it. Like, whether you have to, like, spray it on your hand, spray it on a little paper, you know, just buy it, take it home. And if you don't like it, take it back because, you know, they have a really good return policy. But, yes, I smelled this. But now it's so good. It's like... A really good coconut but it's kind of fresh at the same time but creamy still it's like sweet but not too sweet and it's just very like I don't know it's so good it has coconut water seaside freesia sun kiss lily apple and driftwood I do get like a little bit of that fruit like the apple it's really good it like freshens it up a bit especially when you first spray it it's really 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 good so yeah, I was really happy with that line. And so let's see. Then I found this at a different location. I forgot which location this was, but I found a little black party dress and I was super excited. This one smells really good. Like people have been comparing this to in into the night. Not really sure why because they don't really smell similar but i definitely like this better even though i do have into the night which is good it's really strong but this is definitely like a it's like i feel like this is like a perfume scent not like a body splash but it could be like an actual like designer perfume 
it smells like oh it does have the notes on the bottle maybe i'll put it down here if i can i'm mm, that's gonna be a lot of editing but i'll put it down here um this just smells like this is like a scent you would wear like if you want to smell a little bit like fancy and sophisticated probably on like a night out it kind of smells like a mixture of this is gonna sound bad and weird but it smells like a mixture of like leather and licorice to me but in like the best classiest sophisticated way possible it's just really good it has that like white patchouli in it which is really good because like i feel like the regular patchouli is a little bit too it can be like a little bit too off-putting to people but this white patchouli is like really making the scent so it's good okay then i found these bad boys so like they had the whole line at the store i was at including the iced uh, margarita pear is that what it's called i probably mixed it all around but the pear one i've had that before and for some reason i think it was like three years ago i had that and um for some reason i really disliked it i don't know why i usually like pear scents but that one was just not doing it for me so i didn't even bother smelling that one i think i gave it to my mom and she still has it but this is the hibiscus guava fresca this one, like, I instantly smelled it in the store. I was like, oh, this is, this is good. It's another, like, fresh, fruity one. It's very, like, but the fruity is not, like, overly sweet, but it's sweet enough. You know what I mean? And it smells kind of like, I don't know what guava smells like. Maybe it smells like this, but it also kind of smells like watermelon to me. Like, actual watermelon. Like, if you guys have been to a semi-annual set, I know they have that collection where it's, like, the drinks like lemon martini like peach sangria type rosé champagne and then they have the watermelon one in that line no it does not smell like that that watermelon is like the synthetic candy type watermelon smell this is like if you were actually eating a watermelon like the fresh juiciness of it it smells like that so also the color of the liquid is so pretty i love it and like the design oh so it's so cute she's cute and then i've been hearing so much like about this one this is the agave papaya sunset when i first smelled this i was like i don't smell nothing but i had to take this home and oh my gosh i don't know what it is about papaya this time around i never thought i liked papaya scent so much but it just smells like so fruity but then sweet i really like sweet scents so this one has that sweetness to it it's it's like fresh but it's also like like <clears throat> i don't even know it's fresh but it's also kind of like sweet and like i don't want to say warm it's not warm but like mm. I don't know you gotta smell it you gotta you just gotta smell it like i had to get two because it was just so good people were right when they said that one was good they were so right then let's see what else i got then this one's a surprise this one's a big surprise um i found this one online and i was so excited this is strawberry pound cake this is like the older packaging um not like the the bakery the new bakery one i think is that what the line is called but this one i hear nothing about good things about strawberry pound, strawberry pound cake and i was so excited to smell this one and it did not disappoint guys it literally smells like like strawberry like candy strawberry 
like powdered sugar like it's so good this is my type of scent I love the sweet scents like I'm also getting into the fresher fruity scents but I love the sweet candy like bakery type the Christmas cookies that's why I'm so excited for like the new line that's supposed to be coming the coconut cream pie the raspberry jam donut like I can't wait I can't wait till it comes to my store okay what do we have next did I have champagne toast another one that people literally won't stop talking about and for good reason because this one literally smells like champagne um I like this one okay I'm gonna compare this to strawberries and champagne so I recently bought um strawberries and champagne from Victoria's Secret and I remember being young and like smelling that one and I was like oh my gosh it smells like strawberries in actual alcoholic champagne <laughs> and because I didn't want it to smell like an alcoholic drink I never really got the scent but now I feel like they reformulated it. I don't know if I'm the only one, but like I was smelling the strawberries and champagne. It smelled like, um, I don't know, like a drink. Not like a drink, sorry. Like a, like a bathroom spray. I don't know. It just wasn't the same. So I took it back. But this, this is a good, this is a good um, alternative because this one. is very classy. It doesn't smell like, you're not going to smell like straight up alcohol you know what i mean but it's that bubbly fizzy fresh fruitiness so good also i don't know how i feel about this packaging sometimes i think it's cute but sometimes i'm like eh but i also got another backup of that one in the other packaging which this packaging is really cute even though i don't feel like it matches the scent too well but it's cute so we like her and then what else did I get? Oh, and then I got this line, guys. This line. I was just talking about. I didn't get the watermelon one because, as I said, I hate synthetic watermelon scents. But um, my favorite of all of them is this one. This is the Sparkling Peach Sangria. I love peach scents. This one. It's so good. Like, I don't know. The peach in here is like, it's a little different to me. It's like, it is kind of like that alcoholic peach scent, but it makes it smell like, I don't know. It smells like less of like a candy peach and more like an actual like fresh peach juice, you know? It smells really good and has a like sparkling note to it too. So good, so good. And I also got a backup of this because <laughs> it's so good. Then I got the rose champagne. This one's really interesting too. It's like it smells like if rose water was a champagne. It's really interesting. I don't usually like rose scents, but this one. It's pretty good. I don't think this is my favorite of the collection by any means. I mean, obviously, this one's my favorite. But this one is, like, still kind of nice and fresh. I think this would be a very pretty spray in summer set. And then another one that I really liked was this Lemon Drop Martini. I love lemon scents from Bath & Body Works. This one reminds me of, um, if you guys remember the Le uh, Vanillas collection from Bath & Body Works like so many years ago probably like six years ago and um they had like a lemon vanillas one this one is it this is so good I love it some people said this smelled like lemon clean cleaner to them and I disagree I think this one smells really good I'm so excited for these let me just keep myself organized guys there's so many and then oh i have one more here yes um just of the full size fragrance mist this is black cherry merlot this is surprising to me because i don't i usually hate cherry scents and okay when you first spray it it's like ew 
I'm gonna be honest, like, ugh. But when it settles down your skin, it has dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. I think the raspberry really makes a scent. Because on my skin, it just becomes so fresh and like berry ish, you know? Like, that raspberry really comes out. And I really honestly got really wanted to try this because I got the lotion because I opened it I smelled it in the store and I was like oh wait the lotion smells so good it's like it's the lotion smells like if you ever like like to eat um like yogurt like cherry yogurt that's what this smells like it smells really good and I put it on my hands and I had like my mom smell it and I was like what do you think this smells like? And she was like, oh, it's really nice and fresh and classy. And I was like, this is black cherry mellow. And she was like, no way. It doesn't even smell like cherry on you. And I was like, yeah. So then I had to go back and get this because it's just, I don't know. It's weird. It doesn't smell like cherry on me. Okay, now that I kind of showed you that lotion, I guess I'll just show you some more. I got mostly, um these type of lotions because um like the body lotion instead of like the body cream even though I really like the body creams I just feel like they go bad really fast so I only wanted like a couple of my favorites in the body like cream type so I can finish them on time and like I know these ones just these like body lotion ones just kind of last forever so first of all I have pink cashmere and honestly I feel like this scent gets no love. And I think it's because it's very light and it's like not like a standout scent. But honestly, let me put y'all onto this because I got two. Actually, no, I didn't just get two. Hold, on. Hold up a minute. I didn't just get two. I got the cream too. And let me explain to y'all why. First of all, let me read you the notes. Pink jasmine petals, creamy sandalwood, white amber, and cashmere musk. Now, this is a soft scent. Don't even bother trying to smell this in the store because you won't be able to smell it. But when you put this on your skin, it is a floral scent. But, like, I don't like florals, so don't let that scare you. On your skin, it just smells very, just very pleasant. I don't even know how to explain it. No, like clear notes like come to the surface it's just very pleasant some light florals very clean fresh sophisticated smelling and honestly this is one of those that I say maybe I wouldn't recommend paying full price for this but when you have sales like this get the lotion and like shower gel and stuff for this because this works with so many different scents like I promise you like if you're the person who likes to layer different scents and you, like sometimes it's hard to find like lotion that will match with certain scents and stuff this is your girl because I can't think of a scent that won't smell nice with this this just works with every single scent this is a light scent if you like work in an area like healthcare where you want something that makes you smell fresh and nice and soft and light that won't bother anybody's nose but you still smell really clean and fresh and like nice they probably won't even be able to tell that you're wearing anything like this is for you so please if your store sir has this i had to go looking for this a little bit especially when they brought it to like 4.95 but i'm so happy i found it Then I have snowy peach berry because you know how I feel about peach. I was so excited to find this um, in the lotion. I could only, like, I could not find the lotion, nor could I find the spray. I finally went to one location. They had, like, the large sprays and the, um, what's it called? They had this singular bottle of lotion. Oh, this is... This is so good, guys. The notes on the back is like snow kiss, cranberries, frosted peach blossom, and shimmering woods. It literally smells like if you mix like peach juice with cranberry juice and you like 
mixed it with some like creamy like woodsy notes like it's just good then i found this which i was so excited to find i i found it and i literally had to pick up two i wish i had found the spray but i really like pumpkin scents from bath and body Works and white pumpkin and chai like oh, bomb i had to pick up two i had two uh, the other one's probably up there over there, but this one's just is great. Literally smells like spiced pumpkin with like chai. This one has cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. It's amazing. I'm so excited. And then then I found this gem. I was so excited for this one. This is Twinkling Nights. This is another one that will work with layering a lot. It's so good. It has um, frosted jasmine petals, whipped vanilla, and mandarin blossom. This is one of those I would really recommend if you see it. If you're like picking up like from the semi annual sale, a lot of people like to stock up for gifts. This is one that I really feel like it's hard not to like. Like nobody's gonna like despise this one. I feel like so this is like a good one to get as a potential gift and also like the packaging like it's really pretty so yeah I recommend and then we have a sparkling peach sangria oh my gosh this video is gonna be so long I'm so sorry but sparkling peach sangria and she looks like this uh, I got two of these too because oh this just smells so good okay now oh yeah more lotions uh this is a body cream my pink coconut calypso i saw this in the body cream i had to snatch it up because she's bomb also saw this one she's also really bomb pink velvet cupcake like this like this smells so good. This reminds me of like a fruitier version of velvet sugar, basically. Um, this has sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugar praline. And that's a good description. Yeah, it's really good. It's really sweet. Like, if you like sweet scents, that one is for you. And then we have sensual amber. And I've been, a, I've been sleeping on sensual amber amber because this is like been around forever i wish they had the spray but i just found this the other day and oh my gosh like just the mix of like kind of slight citrusy with like amber and like i don't know i feel like there's a little bit of vanilla maybe not i think it might be sandalwood but yeah let me see golden amber wild berries orange flower lotus petals and creamy sandalwood it's so good Ooh, it's really good. Okay, that's the my lotion, my full size lotion. Um, I don't know. Should I end this video right here and do a part two? Because I feel like this is getting really long. Okay, I think we're going to do that. So come back for part two. I'll probably post it right after this one, hopefully. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be doing a part two with my, you know, body washes, my minis, and some others. So stay tuned.